Okay, so alligator project. Um, I did some stuff before you get, well, after this last video. I glued the ridges onto the back of his tail. Still a couple left, so I'm doing that. Um, right now, I'm going to screw in this board. It's already glued in, but I do like screws just to make sure. And it calls for it too, so that helps. And I really hope that I'm not going to regret using this size of because uh, it's pine. It's a little gentle. It doesn't always uh, like bigger stuff, bigger screws. Kind of split. It did pre-drill everything to try to prevent that from happening. Um, but sometimes it doesn't always seem to work out very well. But almost done. Okay. So three screws in. Anyways, so I'll now move on to gluing those ridges on. Sorry if you're bouncing there. I kind of um so this used to be Dave's layout, as some of you know, and uh, he built it for his layout, which is great. I didn't redo anything because, well, it was already here. Why would I? But it's built for his height, and I am short, so so I uh, have to have a platform that he had. I think it was a dividing thing that he used to like lift up. Anyways, I use it for like a step stool because I am short. Um, so yeah, there you go. So that's what this tripod's on is that step stool. So you probably, it's the reason you would have bounced. Okay, so tail's complete. Hopefully you can see all that. I'm not quite sure what you can see exactly of what I'm doing right now. So that part's done. And here comes, what do I do with that? Anyways, so the feet. I glued the feet on like last time, like we'd seen, but it needs its screws on the bottom too. So we'll do that right now. Quick. The other three are already done, so this was the last piece that had to be done for this. Okay, so all four feet are together. Now comes this part. I'm trying to get myself enough room because this is actually pretty long. I need some of these. The reason why I don't always throw up my wood. Sometimes it's good for later on. Okay, there's that. And I need that. And I'll need this. You guys can't see what I was just grabbing, but that's okay. Oh, so the alligator head. I attached him onto his board. And he's screwed, so he's attached. He isn't going anywhere. Um, it's almost ready to go, but there is a slight little problem, but it's not a big deal. I, uh, had to order eyes for him from Measly Hardware Supplies. Now, I'm really, normally they were really, really good about delivering, like, getting their orders out, but my last order wasn't as good. So... I'm a little bit hesitant about this, but we can eat it, right? So now it's just trying to line this up. See what I'm trying to do because you're on the wrong side, but that's okay. Uh -huh. Sometimes you wish you didn't do things. 
feel certain ways. Like how that's lining up. Uh, I don't know if you could tell that's probably the issue right now because I don't like how that's lining up. So now I gotta look at the head as well. Let's see how that's gonna line up. Not Sorry, you're bouncing again. Almost enough. Plenty of stuff you guys get to see how much you have when you came in and watched this video. It doesn't look too bad right there. Okay, so I'll live with that. And pre drill my hole. And just putting holes where I think they should go. Okay, so those are lined up. Oh, kind of. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I only put one hole on the other side. Um, it doesn't. It's not a hundred percent lined up. It's going to be good enough. Of course, I say that, and I won't kind of probably criticize myself for it for the rest of it but but it'll work for now anyways to put the glue on this for now drop back down line this back up okay so I'm not going to show you the whole alligator being put together I'm just going to kind of briefly go through this one just because you can see most of the alligator the bigger parts it's gonna be a little bit more stuff to do uh, so screws these are smaller screws um last time I put sides on I did pre-drill but, uh, like I said, it's pine and it's a little sensitive some days. So it doesn't always like being like countersunk or anything like that. So I'm trying to be careful. And not get to the point where I'm going to lose chunks of wood because that is actually, if you ever see my lizard that up close you see the back end split 
a little bit, and I obviously don't want this one to split. Okay, so that part's done. Trying to kind of survive on its own. Okay, so now here comes this part. So that's the front back leg. This will be the front leg. Now it's all a matter of where do I want this to line up exactly. I'll put it there, kind of covers that scoop a little, little bit. Yeah, but that one, the front one is just, if I put it there, it kind of covers that scoop. doing these first is that then I can try and match on the other side. But yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, so now I'm going to put some glue on the back of this. Obviously I use the inside of this because a little bit of it broke off so it's easier to hide it. Put the glue, put it back to where I kind of wanted it to be. And then do the same for the back one. Now, obviously, I'm going to put a screw in here to attach it like everything else, but I'm going to wait for it to dry. But this will give you a really good idea of pretty much exactly what I've got to do on the other side. It covers the screw holes so then on the other side I will actually have to kind of pre-drill my holes for the back of this so then I can just go in with a screwdriver to put the screws in because the box is too tight for the drill to go in so but it'll it's how it's gonna go for the next one too um, yeah so that's this and I guess the next update will be like he'll be all together and he'll just need his uh, eyes and he will need to be stained. Yep. Yeah. So, till then.